Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial on how to make cute, spooky, autumn, festive witch hats like the one I'm wearing. So, so for this project, you're gonna need a cheap witch hat. Mine's from the dollar store. You're also gonna need a painting medium. I am using molding paste. This helps make it thick and waterproof. And some acrylic paint, I have chosen brown. And then of course some brushes or sponges. First you're gonna mix the painting medium with the acrylic paint. And then once it's mixed, you will prepare your hat for painting. I started painting first on the outer rim just because I feel like I have more control that way. But if you feel it like being a bad witch, go ahead and start in the middle. And then once it's all painted, as you can see, it feels much more stiff. And you're welcome to mold the top, squeeze it, scrunch it any way you like, or you can do what I'm going to do. So I started out by turning the hat inside out. To do this, you will need some flexible wire. And you will also need a hot glue gun. So you take the wire and measure it from the top of the hat to about the center where you wish for it to stop. Try to straighten out the wire best you can. Any bends or kinks in it will make it difficult to glue down. Form a line with the hot glue where you wish for your wire to lay. Make sure you make the glue kind of thick so that the wire has something to stick into. It's the only thing that And then once it is all glued down, wait for it to dry and turn it back the right way. At this point, you may bend it and twist it and do whatever you like to get the shape at the top that you wish. Now it's time to decorate. The items I am using, I had at home already, just lying around my house, but you can find similar items at the dollar store or any local craft store. Now my hat already has holes in it because I like the old look, kind of like Harry Potter. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add two little more slits on each side of the hat so that I can attach ribbon or string to tie around my neck. After that is complete, I'm going to go ahead and wrap a second layer of the orange ribbon around the hat and glue it down. After I was done gluing, I picked out a feather and a piece of floral from my abundance of stuff. I then glued those two pieces together and then attached it to the hat. I then took a baby acorn because it was so cute and decided to glue that down right where the feather lays. And now that it's finished, just let the autumn vibes sink in. Thanks for stopping by and watching my tutorial. 
um, you may like and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sam underscore more. I'll leave the link to that in the description box. Um, go ahead and follow me for updates or uh, just ask me questions or say hi. Um, I hope all your guys' hats came out extra spooky today and don't forget, stay foxy.